Alright guys, how's it going? I like to mow here. Today it is Monday, first day of my spring break. Uh, it's around 8.30 I think it is. Let me look at my phone here. So, yeah, let's do that, but it's 8.47. Um, so what today, well, let me back up. So today, we have some projects going on uh, this morning. I'm taking a run to the trash dump. Uh, we're replacing the flooring in our master bedroom. So we have uh, pulled out all the old carpet and the padding. And we're replacing it with wood flooring. So we have to get rid of all this carpet because it's just old and worn out. Um, so I'm going to load it up into the back of my pickup truck. And we're going to take this up to the trash dump. And I'm hoping they're going to take it here because this is like a rural collection center. And they say no construction and demolition debris, but that people take it there. So I hope that they'll take it. But uh, otherwise, I might have to go to the transfer station on the other side of the county. Because this place I'm going to is at one side of the county. And then this other place is at the other side of the county, so it would be a lot of driving if I have to go to the other place. But nonetheless, I do hope that they'll take this so that I don't have to uh, drive all the way to the other side of the county. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and load up all this stuff into the truck and get on our way. Alright, so we got it all loaded up there. Um, couldn't fit it all in one load, unfortunately, so I'm going to take two loads. Actually, I might be able to fit it back here uh, with the tailgate up. I'm going to try it um, just to save a trip because it's like 15 miles over there and 15 miles back or so. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take this and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I am back. Uh, this is actually in the afternoon now. Um, I did go to the, uh, dump, and I was able to take all that stuff. Uh, they accepted it, even though it is demolition debris, so that was good, because I didn't have to pay for it. Um, <clears throat> I also, uh, went over to my church, and blew off the parking lot, and blew, or mowed all the leaves, mowed the front yard, and mulch up all the leaves on the property as well. Um, we have a zero turnover at church, so I just use that over there. And then I just use my uh, BR600 today for blowing off the parking lot. But I am actually uh, <clears throat> out of gas for my mix stuff. That can is basically empty. And then I have that... Uh, other no spill over there so and I'm starting to mow here and I'm going to be mowing full time here again real soon so I'm going to probably fill up all my mix cans and then mix up all the gas and then have it because I'm going to be using it here a lot real soon and once I do start using it a lot then obviously I'm going to be going through I usually go through 
during the busy season this past year, like during the middle of the summer, I was going through about six gallons of uh, two-stroke every two to three weeks. So if I'm going through every two weeks, I'm using about 12 gallons of two-stroke a month, which is probably a pretty small amount compared to what some of you guys use, but for basically a solo operation, that's a pretty good amount of fuel being used, but, um, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and shower, because I was, uh, mulching leaves, and I am really dirty, as you can see, maybe, um, but I'm going to go ahead and shower, and then I was going to also get some paint for the Little Wonder, and then maybe start painting that today, and, uh, I can get that from Ace Hardware right down the street, so I'm probably going to go and fill up my mixed gas, or my mixed cans, and then also get some paint. I'm going to get some white, uh, red, and black. Um, white, I'm going to get probably a quart of it. Um, red, probably just get like one of those little sample sizes, honestly. And black, I'll probably get a small, small can like that also, maybe even a quart, I don't know. I'm going to brush it on, uh, just so that it, uh, so I can get into all the tight places and get even coat on it, that sort of stuff. Um, uh, and this is not going to be the end of the video yet, but if I end up doing that today, I will just time lapse, uh, all the painting, just because I don't think you want to sit there and watch me paint a blower for half an hour or an hour. Probably get boring after a while. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up and then uh, run down to the gas station. Alright guys, I'm back. I got cleaned up and a little change in plans. Uh, I'm not going to head down to Ace Hardware or get any gas today. I don't have any more work today, so there's no sense in me uh, going to get gas. And honestly, I do have plenty of stuff I can be doing around here rather than painting a push blower right now. Um... One of which is this workbench. It needs to be cleaned off. Uh, I have my laptop down here, and or out here. And I'm going to be posting things on eBay, on Craigslist, all that sort of stuff. So that we can see uh, if we can sell some stuff. Because I don't need any of these chainsaws, and I don't have time to take care of them, so I might as well sell them. Um, made a video a little while back that I was going to offer these saws to anyone on here who might be interested, obviously purchasing them from me. Um, <clears throat> and I'll uh, update that video with these links in the description, but I'll also put them on this video uh, once I edit this. I'm sitting on my shop chair. Uh, but anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and take pictures of all this stuff and post it and get back to you. Okay, guys. So it is, well, let's see. It is 9.48 p.m. I am out in the garage here. As you can see, I got my laptop, like I said earlier. Uh, just sitting out here in the shop posting things on eBay. Um... I will put the links to the chainsaws in the description of today's video, or of this video. I don't know if it's going to be today, like the 20th. It's going to be up. It probably won't be uploaded tonight. Um, anyways, off topic, but I am also selling some other miscellaneous small engine parts that I don't have a need for, such as a full on fuel tank that I ordered the wrong part number of and it's been sitting on my workbench for a while so I don't have a need for it so I might as well sell it but I'm selling these things for pretty cheap some of which are even free shipping um, like I'm selling off a parts engine Honda recoil bolts for GX series engines 99 cents a piece and free shipping so I can just drop those in a letter envelope and mail them off another parts engine, Briggs and Stratton recoil handle, 
and a brand new uh, Ryobi trimmer guard that's the wrong guard for a trimmer that I was working on. Uh, so yeah, and my workbench is clearer. I got the uh, um, chainsaws off, so that's good. That was part of my goal today, was to get them off my workbench. So I did get that done. I put them back together, and they are over here, separated apart for each of the what comes with them. Yeah, I'll turn on my work light here so you can see better. Uh, so for the Husqvarna, it comes with uh, a wrench, bar and chain. The chain is pretty good, bar is good, also the paint's worn off, but it's still usable. Clutch cover, obviously and some miscellaneous parts, I think. Yeah, a gasket and a bar mount, plate, bar plate mount, I think it's called. Uh, so then this other MS-180, it says an MS-170 on there, but it's an MS-180. Comes with uh, lots of various parts. Um, and you can look at the descriptions on the video, or off, on the uh, eBay postings to see exactly what they include, and then this other MS-180 includes a cylinder kit and some various parts as well as a bar and chain. So, yeah, that's that stuff there. Uh, and then I'm also selling um, yeah, that's all over here, and then I'm also going to be selling some uh, mower blades that are the wrong size for my turf tracer. Uh, they're in this box right here. I'll be posting those up as well. But you can check out. I'm only going to put the chainsaws in the description. And I will put the. Uh, and you can just go to my page. I think my username is like small engine guy 104 or something. Um, but you can uh, check out everything else I'm selling. I'm also selling some other stuff that I'll be posting later tonight. Um, but anyways, if you guys are interested in any of the stuff, I will uh, check it out on eBay, and then if you purchase it, obviously I'll ship it to you. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight for this vlog here, because I didn't do too much today, but I need to get in bed, because actually tomorrow, I won't get into too much detail, but... I'm going to uh, look at some push mowers that someone might give, that someone's giving, offering me for free, as well as some other various stuff that they have that they're cleaning out. So I'm gonna go take a look at that and see what they've got. Uh, and obviously, I'll do some videos on that stuff and show you what I get, end up picking up. Uh, so that should be a good video for tomorrow. So, anyways, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Hope you have a good evening. And. Stay classy, guys.